Alrighty ladies and gents, how are you guys doing today? In this video, as you can probably now tell, I'm going to do a speed test between the old MacBook Air versus the new one. By old I mean 2011 and 2012. Both are the low end 13 inch and the specs of the new one should be appearing on the screen. The first test that we're going to do is a boot up test, both at the same time. Both machines are copies of each other, so same applications, same files, same user accounts, so that the test is most accurate. So at the same time, one, two, and three. And note how both are connected by mains because there is always someone in the comments going to say, hey, one is not running off the mains. I've made sure of that. Uh, and what do we have here? The new MacBook Air has loaded up faster and there we go, the, new, the old one has just booted up. Next test we're going to do is with iMovie, let's load it up at the same time and see which one runs it or opens it faster. The old one was a bit faster, let's go ahead and load up a project and see what the difference is in terms of exporting because that will be the real test. So as you can see here, I have the same files for this next test and as you can imagine, I'm going to export both of these files which are bang on the same at the same time in HD 1080p to see which one does it the fastest. So after three, one, two and three. Let's see which one is faster. Three minutes remaining, four minutes remaining Hmm, that's a first day. So as you can see here, about four minutes remaining. Oh, this one has also gone up to four minutes. There we go. And this one, the new MacBook Air has come down to three minutes. So you could say it's probably a minute faster, the new machine. And let's see by doing this test all the way through, which one wins? And guys, there we have it. The new MacBook Air is almost done. We have a winner. There we go, it's done. And the old MacBook Air 2011 is still processing. So give or take, all in all, there's a minute difference between these two machines. So whether that minute is really gonna make a killer deal or a killer sale for yourself, that is for you to decide. So ladies and gents, in this next test we are using Lightroom and we are going to import the same amount and same type of files into Lightroom at the same time and import. And that was almost identical, but let's go ahead and mess around with Lightroom and see what we can come up with. So in Lightroom, I've got both of these images open and if you couldn't already tell, they are identical. And let's mess around with some of the presets. So let's go to look number three and hmm, identical. Let's try this one, red filter. Again, it's almost identical. Creative split, let's try this one. Where are you, son? Creative split number one. Um, is it just me or are we not seeing a difference? Let's try grain heavy. Let's try tone curve. And yeah, hopefully some of you out there are going to kind of make sense of this. Um, but to me, it almost looks identical in terms of Messing, messing around with the filters and the import test in Lightroom 3. And guys, last but not least, this is a must and most of you have requested this in the unboxing video and it's just one of those things which you have to do when you get a new Mac to see how well it powers or how well it scores up against other Macs, how well it stacks up. And this is exactly what it's analyzing at the moment. And ladies and gents, there we have it, 6,805. Let's see on the comparison sheet how well that racks up. So this is uploading it to Geekbench's website and we should have a score sheet somewhere over here. There we go. And the Mac benchmark chart. 
and let's see where we are positioned. Where on earth are we positioned? So six, eight, we are over here. It's almost just above the MacBook Pro early 2011. It's just above this and in between the iMac 21 and a half inch mid 2010, which is not so bad. And just to kind of really show you guys, this is the Geekbench result on my old MacBook Air 6008. Uh, so it really is positioned somewhere here on the Geekbench table or just above. And as you can see, this one is 6805. I hope these tests have been useful, guys. I would highly appreciate if you check out iGear.com. Even if you're not going to get anything, I would appreciate if you can hit the like button or the tweet button or the share button on the website. That would be pretty impressive. Let me know what other tests you want me to do, what games you want me to test, uh, and I shall honour your requests where I can. Thanks very much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video. Whether Cheers. it be an iPhone, a Nokia, HTC, Samsung, Heck, any smartphone on the market, it's compatible with our garments. There is indeed a pocket for this, and a pocket for that. You can buy it today at iGear.com. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. You never know, you might be the next one to get in on our free giveaway.